So hello. <laughs> so um, if you're following along, um, this is by no means anything that you have to do. It's just something that I'm doing. And it's also going to be um, a part of a series in your own university. So you can always revisit it in your own university once it comes down from here. And um, there'll be even more pieces within it because for the body, I think it's so important not to treat the body just as a single unit, but also remember that it um, holds our emotions, it holds our vibration. So, ah, speaking of vibration, there goes my phone dying again. Um, I tried to do this video this morning and it didn't work out, so um, I'm doing it now. I got up, I um, set my intention the last couple days, I've been doing the prep, um, lots of juice and extra water and um, cleansing and body brushing and everything that I shared with you and really setting my, my intention that um, the weight of the world, the weight that's on me, the things that are weighing me down be lifted emotionally and, and uh, mentally and physically and spiritually. And last night I had really crappy dreams of stuff that's definitely been weighing me down. I did a lot of tapping on it, um, EFT. I um, woke up and I did a lot of journaling on it right away. Um, things have come up within my relationship. I'm looking at my finances and all this money I spent this month on um, the friggin' cat <laughs> and that decision. And you know, just like everything that weighs on me at times is freaking coming up, which is beautiful. And it also means that then I have to handle it. I have to decide and choose what I'm going to do with it. I have um, all these tools to um, put into action. So I'm not holding it and I'm not wallowing in the weight and I'm not revisiting the drama or trauma around whatever is weighing me down that I've already done you know we we tend to hash things out in our head a lot and um and so you've probably already done done that you hashed stuff out in your head you went through it when you went through it um and just there's issues in the tissues right so to release those issues we allow the stuff to come up we set that intention and um then we we allow the space for that to happen. So before I um, like plug in all the good stuff and everything that I want in my life, I have found that it's best to just be where I'm at, to accept the emotions, to accept the memories, to accept the things that are coming up, to look at them as blessings, to be able to deal with them and choose how I'm going to set my intention and live with it. And um, and really look at what comes up during this time of, of dedicated awareness. So um, I just put some extra water and an old drink. There's my juice. This morning we um, juiced up in the juicer stuff that didn't turn out to be on the thing. Um, we juiced up the kale and the lemon. Uh, the second part of this juice fast here, though, she did the lemon, and it's lemon, cayenne, and um, maple syrup. And this is a cleanse that many people have done. She's um, For this one, it is just one drink a day. Um, it's one drink that I did a long time ago when I, um, well, after I had cancer, in between cancer and adrenal failure, um, I was still cleansing a lot. Um, probably too much, but I was doing a lot of different cleanses and one was with my best friend who had cancer at the time and we did that cleanse and it really reminded me of her and brought that up and um, brought up the sorrow of losing friends. And um, So, I mean, the things that come up that weigh you down don't necessarily, like you might not know. Like the thing that I had a dream about last night was around my marriage and um, it being compared to other people and, and him wanting to, me to be, um, well, anybody, anybody else, um, a different body, a different personality, a different, just different, and um, my own pattern of making myself wrong at the time um, and, and wanting to people please. 
So I'm getting to look at that again from this vantage point. I'm also getting to really acknowledge um, the pain and the hurt that that caused me during those years that I um, either did one, I did one thing or the other. I either tried to change it and fix it, the first part of my marriage, or the second part of my marriage, I really created the Amazing You program and defined myself and, and reclaimed my power while still in the tumultuous relationship. So, um, but there was still some stuff. There's still some stuff there that isn't satisfied because I never got to um, impress him, prove to him that I'm whatever he wanted me to be, right? Um, his definition. And so there's a little girl inside of me that wanted to do that for my parents as well. So looking at all of this, so um, to start off, I want to talk about the mentality part of this. We've talked a little bit about the physical part of it, so let's talk about the mentality part of it. Um, I told you I'd give this, so I'm just going to verbalize it, and then um, if you want to write it down, you can. So the first question that I asked myself when it came to journaling and preparing for this cleanse is, what is weighing me down? So that would be the first question, like what is weighing you down? What is weighing you down in life? Um, common things are finances, common things are relationships issues, common things are weight, actual physicalities and weight, common things like that. So you want to write everything down. Um, is What is stressing you out? Because um, that's a weight. What feels like a weight on your shoulders? What are you taking responsibility for that may or may not be yours to take responsibility for? So that's that's it. Next thing that you ask is, you write all those things down, figure out what's weighing you down, and then you can go through them. And this might take some time if you have a longer list. And you go through them and just look at the ones that are really, really, really um, taking up a lot of your time, a lot of your attention. And when you look at them, ask yourself, what is the weight of this doing positively in my life? Why am I choosing this for myself? Taking 100% responsibility is hard is really friggin hard it totally sucks um, but then that and then next I want to invite you to just allow yourself to feel whatever feels come up um, a stomach ache a throat ache a headache um, tired anxiety frustrated pissed off sad lonely like you're gonna cry forever like this is never going to be over. All of that stuff. And just start free writing and journaling about it. And once you get through that piece, I spent uh, probably two to three hours um, doing EFT and tapping on the negative cycle of, of those things in my life. And that was a couple days ago um, when I was doing the bath session. And so that would be the first thing that you want to ask yourself when, when going on a cleanse or even going on a reset in the, or a diet or anything to release weight off your body there is a deeper weight that you're carrying and or same goes if you were doing this to reset your metabolism to gain weight later because some of us do this to gain weight and that's going to be deeper um, awareness around that is going to be in in your you matter school school of mastery so if you're a part of the you matter club you can um, log in and and learn more about that this piece of it so I'm not going to talk too much about it here because it's really in depth but um, fight flight or freeze some of us put on weight when we're under stress and stress is anything that's weighing us down and other people um, are the opposite and they kind of they flight they flee and the body releases weight and it's really hard to gain weight when you're under under stress or have the weight of the world on you so no matter if you want your weight to go up or your weight to go down um, it's really important to ask yourself what's weighing on you and or what are you running away from or what are you fighting in your life and we're gonna get deeper into that tomorrow um, yeah and then if you know EFT go ahead and tap on these things utilize the tapping points um, there's more on that within the the club as well and and allow your body to reset your mind to reset into this 
And that is today's blurb on this amazing cleanse. So that's the mindset, the mentality piece of it. Um, journaling, some tapping, and uh, feeling the feels. We'll get into more of the vibe raising and um, all of that as we come deeper into it right now. As you're cleansing, you're just acknowledging what's weighing you down acknowledging the intention of releasing that weight and um, shit's gonna come up guys like when when we go through this awakening when we go through times where we want to wake up we want to take responsibility for things we want to shift and change our lives stuff comes up that we have to clear and uh, it's not easy it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of will and um, you can do this whether or not you do the juice cleanse if your body is one that is like totally good you don't need to release weight you're not even holding weight there but mentally and emotionally you're feeling it um, absolutely positively um, do these other pieces to it you can ask yourself these questions you can do the journaling and um, and do that piece and just one thing you could do for your body is just eat um, many small whole food meals per day um, and allow your body to kind of go on a meat um, sans meat and sans uh, sugar and sans dairy, um, you know, mini cleanse, extra, extra water. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. It's not a great day. It's, you know, it's definitely a day where stuff is coming up and I'm having to take a lot of responsibility and look at things that I haven't looked at and feel things I haven't felt. and. And uh, really trust in my body and my psyche um, that everything that's weighing me down is coming up to be cleansed and released and solved. And um, that's it. That's what's happening. Talk to you soon.